Ladies and gentlemen, I must warn you ahead of time. A lot of people seem to be losing their mind today after a few couple of rough years. And I, unrelatedly, am in a super duper excellent good mood. So, some people may not want to hear someone who's being all optimistic and in a good mood, even though the world is crazy and feels like it's falling apart right now. So, if that's not your thing, you know, you may want to find something else. So, we're watching this giant high-pressure blob that's just hanging out by the Aleutian Islands. And then check out this super mega low pressure point that's up in the Atlantic. Man, that is some crazy shiz, man. It's crazy shiz right now. That looks like a dragon. And so we are in strange days indeed, my friends. Strange days indeed. I'm grateful that I've had an amazing December. And now, thanks to Justin and Cody and Michelle and the rest of Asteroid Fight Club, I'm within $324 of hitting my Thor News December 2021 fundraiser. Remember, it's okay to go over that for end time bonuses and stuff. But I am super duper grateful that I've been here with y'all for nine years and that it looks like we're going to continue going into 2022. And we're watching out for a very stormy pattern that will be hitting the southeast in wave after wave after wave today, Friday slash Saturday. Then the day after that, the fourth day from now. So that is three major storm days of the next four days. That is crazy. And look at all that magma heat. I'm sorry, heat in the gulf right now that's quite a bit of heat it would seem and there's a tiny little volcano slash earthquake signal but yeah shit's wild weird and dangerous earlier i put out a video saying that there was a 6.1 earthquake in indiana but i couldn't really find places to verify and even though it was reported i couldn't find any people from indiana who were like yeah we felt it so i took the video down so what the f was this phantom quake which came after the 7.3 or 7.6 earthquake that hit Australia slash Indonesia. So yeah, things are strange. And the December weather has definitely been off the charts weird. And we got another doomsday glacier iceberg that's about to break off to watch. Comets always increase the energy a little extra. And I forgot we had a solar eclipse at the beginning of December. Man, it's like a couple lifetimes in this month. And, you know, I highly recommend everybody stay cool, especially when you got heat dragons flying around, man. You got tornado watches up for Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee. And the big battle of fire and ice and severe weather. I know 2022 is supposed to be the year of the water tiger. I heard someone refer to it as the year of the good king. I said, yeah, that sounds about right. But I don't think... A lot of people and maybe even some of my subscribers are ready to hear that things might improve a lot in 2022 towards the middle, you know, but it's still 2021. So shit will probably be crazy till for a couple more months. It is, you know, you know, it is dark winter number two and hospitals are starting to skyrocket or increase dramatic, dramatically again. I got boosted the day after Thanksgiving. So, you know. Over the last two days, we've just seen tons of closings or schools going remote. For example, more than 500 NFL players have tested positive for COVID this month, or roughly one quarter of the players in the league, which has really messed up the playoffs. And the CDC now recommends um, seven out of five doctors and that the NFL players should play when sick with COVID-19 to create more interesting games and not disrupt the bread and circus portion of the economy. I tried to make a joke. Was it funny? You're going to have to give me some time to adjust to Jupiter and Pisces pretty please. All right. But I should probably have some of the whiskey my mom gave me and go live later. What do you think? 2022. Everybody just be cool. Okay. But definitely step up your prayer game for that hope and health and happiness of all people on earth and play defense and stay weather aware. Israel's most intense storm of the winter wreaked havoc across the country, bringing widespread, widespread flooding and causing, unfortunately, at least one deadly crash. Um, yeah, so you never know who's next in the roulette wheel of 
natural disasters and flood dangers. Remember, Jupiter's just in her Pisces with Neptune again. That's a whole lot of water. So we are expecting flooding and rain to increase over the next five months. And I am in a super duper grateful state today to God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, my mom, my family, Asteroid Fight Club, and everybody cool out there. And the fact that the James Webb Space Telescope, since I've been covering pretty much almost since the beginning of Thor News, that they actually launched it and they're unfolding all the pieces and like the first parts of the mission are successful. We still have like six more months to go, so it'll be interesting the whole time. But I'm going to try and enjoy it now while I can. Plus, the sun super firing up and sending out a lot of good energy to us. There, look at that count of one, two, six sunspots on the sun right now. There's a lot of good energy around. Wow, the sun is always so cool and definitely heading towards solar maximum is always more enjoyable than solar minimum. And so, yeah, the sun has definitely been active with tons of flares over the last few weeks. And we saw a spot where it got up to 11 sunspots. And I don't know, this is the best December I've had in years, man. So I am still in a super great mood and grateful. And, you know, nobody knows how much time we have left on the planet. So it's best to do what you can to stay happy and appreciate the good things in the world. Because there's still a lot of them. And, you know, there are no more elections in 2021. So we might as well not worry a shit about politics for the next few days. I really wouldn't even worry about it for a couple months. Really? I mean, does the thingy that is upsetting you right now really directly affect you? I don't want to trigger you, though. Or maybe I'll drive to the city tonight looking at lights. I sure wish one of my crushes would go with me. Because I'm really hilarious when driving around looking at lights and shit. And Jupiter Pisces right about here. Pew! Have fun with Saturn, crypto. But sure, we got hazards. Especially day three to seven. And now, I guess. Um, You got much below normal temperatures up here. Way too hot down here. Super severe weather, heavy rains, heavy snow, heavy snow, high winds, heavy precipitation, much below normal temperatures here, heavy snow, high winds, high winds. So, yeah, Venus is retrograde still and has been retrograde for like 10 days. So, we got 30 days of Venus retrograde left. For the record, everybody's allowed to have their opinion on things, and I absolutely loved don't look up and there was a period in it where the the head the king of silicon valley literally shuts down asteroid fight club so they can make a trillion more dollars over the next month and then die i don't know i i really enjoyed it is 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 satire though and the just part where leo goes man we really did have it all which we do i'm still alive did you know that like almost everybody i ran into around my birthday and Christmas, you know, family and friends and stuff, they were like, we are surprised you made it to your birthday, that you lived. And I was like, yeah, I'm surprised too. I'm grateful. God is great. All right. Part of the South Central U.S. will be at risk for multiple rounds of severe weather prior to New Year's Day, and then even on New Year's Day and after. So I'm doing what I do and doing it well. I'm doing it and doing it and doing it well. Dudes posting their W's. This dude... On Christmas Eve this year, pulled eight people out of a burning bus. You're a hero, man. We would give you an Astro Fight Club Medal of Honor. But the comet is definitely adding some strange mojo into things, you know? So do your best to stay cool. You know the drill. Okay? Oh, and apparently the Indiana one wasn't the only phantom shake quake. Lori Meacham says, earthquake, sonic boom, something else, a mysterious violent shaking report in San Diego for the third time in 2021. See, so yeah, it's a strange energy, man. So do your best with it. Use the force and pray often for the health and happiness of you, your friends, your family, your pets, and everybody on earth, okay? And super duper thank you to Astro Fight Club. You guys are so amazing and you treat me so well. I only got $324 left to raise with, I don't know, like 30 hours left. 
you guys are great to me. So I would like to say thank you to Astro Fight Club and thank you to Justin again. Thank you to Cody again. Thank you to Michelle again. Thank you to Courtney again. Thank you to Ben again. Thank you to Jay again. Thank you to Geneviva again. Thank you to Tommy again. Thank you to John again. Thank you to JJ again. Thank you to Patricia again. Thank you to Andrea again. Thank you to Grandma Andy again. Thank you again to Nancy. Thank you again to Shonen Xtina. Thank you again to Greg. Thank you again to the Wizard of Oz. Thank you again to Anita. Thank you again to Stephanie. Thank you again to Charles. Thank you again to William. Thank you again to Roxana. Thank you again to Rod. Thank you again to Darlene. Thank you again to Dave. Thank you again to Jason. Thank you again to Carol. Thank you again to Robert. Thank you again to Barbara. Thank you again to the goods. Thank you again to the Texas Angel. Thank you again to Mist. Thank you again to Alexis. Thank you again to Max. Thank you again to Lauren. Thank you again to Richard. Thank you again to Glenda. Thank you again to Arnica. Thank you again to Light Soul. Thank you again to Dan. Thank you again to Marlita. Thank you again to Brian. Thank you again to Anne. Thank you again to KJ. You guys are amazing. I feel so lucky and blessed. And thank you again to my mom and my whole family for such an amazing birthday and Christmas in December. And I'll keep it posted because that's what I do. All right. Everybody stay cool. God bless everyone.